Hey guys, this is your Tested Weather Forecast, and today we're going to be talking about major hurricane Iota that will likely impact Central America very significantly within the next couple days, bringing severe storm surge, very, very heavy rains, and devastating winds. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like weather related content. Hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. The National Hurricane Center has an additional disturbance that will likely impact the Caribbean again sometime late next week. It has a 20% chance of formation through five days. That will be in a different video. This is the National Hurricane Center's forecast for IOTA. Right now, it is a 90 mile per hour Category 1 hurricane forecasted to strengthen to a very powerful Category 4 plus hurricane as it makes landfall right around the same area Ada did. And it will bring devastating rainfall to the same areas significantly impacted by Ada, damaging winds to the same exact areas, and severe surge to the same areas. Hurricane warnings are issued from Nicaragua into the Honduras, same with tropical storm warnings, and the system is not expected to impact the United States or curve northward. It'll likely come out in the eastern Pacific. This is current model intensity guidance, and you can see all models have it becoming a major hurricane category 3 with a general weakening trend after hour 48, with one maintaining hurricane strength for a good couple dozen hours, that's unlikely. And there's a slight chance that it becomes a Category 4 plus hurricane, which is what the National Hurricane Center is currently forecasting at this time. These are all the possible paths could take, and you can see all of them are pretty consistent with it coming out into the Eastern Pacific and not back into the Gulf or the Caribbean like Ada did, which is good. However, it will impact Central America in the same area as Ada did. These are current sea surface temperatures, and you can see the water where Iota is around. It's 29 to 30 degrees Celsius waters, which is plenty for strengthening and rapid intensification, which is happening at this time. And as we go into the eastern Pacific, they drop over here where that green patch is with 25 degrees Celsius waters, but they're still pretty warm along Mexico with 30 plus degrees Celsius waters. So if it can hold on to tropical storm or tropical depression status when it comes out the eastern Pacific, it could re-strengthen and impact Mexico. Question of the day for this video is, have you ever been in a tornado warning? Comment your answers below if you've ever been in a tornado warning or not, and I will come over. That's your trusted weather forecast for major hurricane Iota. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.